Today I'm going to take you behind the scenes of a holiday fashion shoot using one light, one lens, and a fun prop. Lindsay Adler here and happy holidays to you. Now, I love to create imagery that is timely. So for all different holidays, I'm creating photographs that are in my style, but also fit the holiday because it's going to be shared a lot on social media, it's going to be pinned, and it just gives me content that gets people excited. All right, so a lot of these times I do things that are elaborate with big props and hair and makeup and all of that stuff, but you can create a really impactful look with just a single light, one lens, and a prop. You just have to get a little bit creative. So the look that I have here was 100% from Amazon. Everything from the dress to the stockings to that really fun Christmas bulb. It was about $30 for that Christmas prop. So not too cheap, not too expensive, but I think it really screams Christmas time. All right, so after I got the styling, I decided looking at it that I could really go two ways. I could shoot her against a red background and make it a red dominant image, but because of the candy cane stripes, I thought that I would further carry through the color palette by actually shooting on white and make it clean, higher key, and a little bit more playful. I've got the fun styling, I've got the white background, I've got the prop, and now it's time for the lighting. And I'm not going to make this complicated whatsoever. In fact, I'm only going to use one strobe with no modifiers whatsoever. It's completely bare bulb. Now my thought process behind this is that I want a high key image using a single light. And so I'm moving my subject all the way back towards that white background. What it does is it makes the background white and it illuminates her correctly. Now there is going to be a shadow on the background, but because she's going to do fun and kind of playful pinup poses along with posing with the Christmas bulb, I actually think the shadows will make it more interesting. I really like that the shadows are going to be really defined and crisp, and that's because my main light is a hard light source. Remember, the further the light source is from the subject, especially with no modifier, the harder that light's going to be. So it looks almost like sunlight. Now, because this is meant to be fun and playful, I'm going to make sure that her poses and her expression really exude holiday spirit. I'm only using one light and I'm only using one lens. I'm shooting with the Canon R5 and the Canon RF 24 to 105. Now, the reason I've selected this lens is because it's versatility. If I wanna shoot a full length shot, no problem. I'll use a wider focal length. And if I wanna zoom in tight for a beauty shot, I can easily zoom in to 105. This is often my go-to studio lens, especially for full length fashion shots. I am super inspired by the fun and playful elements we're working with, so now it is just time to put together the pose and the expression. Okay, so can you do me a favor? Can you give me like, like think pinup poses, kind of little kicking and happy expression and hold the bulb out that way? Cute. Awesome, and then kick your foot up a little. Great. Good, and laugh like you're laughing at someone this way. Good. As she's moving, I am shooting a lot because I wanna capture the perfect pose and expression, and that's why I've chosen a Profoto D2 as my strobe. It has super fast recycle times. Creating impactful holiday imagery doesn't need to be expensive and it doesn't need to be complicated. It just needs to have a good idea. Now, if you wanna see the gear used in the making of this video, be sure to check out the link in the description below and visit adorama.com. And of course, if you like this content and you wanna see a lot more videos just like this one, be sure to subscribe. Thanks guys, see you next time.